Welcome to Prism Technologies. I am Venkat. This is part 4 of ASP.NET Grid View tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss about XML data source control in ASP.NET. In part 3 of the ASP.NET Grid View tutorial, we discussed about object data source control. Please watch part 3 before proceeding with this video. Now, if you want to display XML data in a grid view control without even writing a single line of code, then XML data source control can be used. Let's understand that with an example. Let's flip to Visual Studio. Now let's say I have this country's XML data and I want to display this country's XML data in this grid view control. Okay, and I want to do that without even writing a single line of code. So for that, I can make use of XML data source control. So let's go ahead, drag and drop XML data source control onto our web form. Okay, now we have our XML data source control, but we don't have an XML file within our application. So let's go ahead and add an XML file. Now let's keep all data files, you know, in a folder called data. So let's go ahead and add a folder with name data to this project. So right click on the project, add new folder. And I'm going to name this data. And then to this folder, let's add an XML file. And to do that, right click on the folder, select add new item. And then from the installed templates, click on data and select XML file. And I'm going to name fi my file as countries.xml. Click add. So that should add an XML file to this folder. Now let us copy this XML data into that file. Okay, so if you look at this XML data, it's pretty straightforward. We have country's root XML element, which has got several country elements within that. And each country element has called child elements, you know, ID, name, and continent. Okay, now let's configure our XML data source control that we have on this web form. So click on the smart tag, click on configure data source link here. And then all we need to do is select the XML data file. So click the browse button and then select data folder and from there select countries.xml click OK that's all so we have configured our XML data source control now we need to associate this XML data source control with this grid view control and to do that click on the smart tag on the grid view control and from the choose data source drop down list select XML data source one and look at this the moment I select that I get an error so there is an error saying you know the there was an error rendering the control. The data source for the grid view with, grid, with ID grid view one do not have any properties or attributes from which to generate columns. Ensure that your data source has content. Okay, now this is basically because XML data source control only works with attributes, not child XML elements. So if you look at our XML, it has got these child elements, child XML elements. So XML data source control, you know, basically doesn't work nicely with these, uh, with this kind of XML data. Okay, so obviously to solve this, I mean, there are three ways to solve this problem. Okay, so obviously the first way is to rewrite countries.xml file using attributes instead of XML nodes. Okay, we'll be talking about that in this video session. And the other options are, we can use an XSLT transformation file to convert XML nodes to attributes dynamically and automatically. Okay, and then the other way is obviously to load that countries.xml data into a data set and then bind the data set to the grid view control. We'll talk about these two options, that is option two and three, in our next video session. In this video, we'll discuss about rewriting countries.xml file using attributes instead of XML uh, nodes, you know, manually and then associating that to an XML data source control. So obviously, if I have my XML data like this, you know, it's not working as expected. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to rewrite that, um, you know, XML using attributes. Look at this here, I'm using attributes. Instead of child XML nodes here, I'm using ID, name, and continent as attributes for this XML element. Okay, so let's copy. So it's the same data. I have represented this in a different format. So let's copy that and instead of this XML, I'm going to paste it there. Okay, so it's the same data. All right, so let's save everything. Now let's go to web form. Let's get rid of this uh, grid view control. Let's drag and drop another grid view control. And now let's click on that smart tag option and let's choose our XML data source. 
Now look at this. The moment I select, uh, you know, the XML data source one from that choose data sources drop-down list, the data is nicely displayed. So let's go ahead and run this now. As you might expect, the data will be displayed. Okay, so it's taking a bit of time to load that XML data from the file, so I can see my data there as it stands in the XML file. So in our next video session, we'll talk about options two and three, how to use an XSLT transformation file to convert XML nodes to attributes, and then loading this country's .xml data into a data set, and then binding that to a grid view control. On this slide, you can find resources for ASP.NET, C-Sharp, and SQL Server interview questions. That's it for today. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.